is it okay to copy someone? Like, I'm a worship pastor, and as a worship leader, is it okay to look at someone else's style, another church's style, and copy that? Here's a story. So I can see evidences of, of the calling I have as far as being a worship leader. I can go back to the early 90s and see little signs and things here and there where God was leading me in this direction. In hindsight, I can see that. But it really didn't amp up uh, and go to 11, so to speak, until around 2010, 2011, 2012. And while all this was going on, while this was being amped up, this desire, this passion, this calling in my life, I found the dad life video that Church on the Move did. Rocking my dockers with a cuff and a crease. I got that St. John's Bay and the clip for my piece. I look nice. I was like, this is so well done. And I love it when the church does something really, really well done. And so I started poking around and looking at their services. And there was just something about how they did their Sunday morning services that really resonated with me. I also found their uh, the Christmas thing they did for 2010. They did several, you know, Christmas shows. Uh, but the one they did in 2010, that was the one that had Drummer Boy, had uh, The Grinch doing Thriller. And um, I, I really saw their passion for doing things with excellence and creativity. And I was like, this, everything about it resonated with me. Now at the time, I was still working in the corporate world. I uh, wasn't on staff at a church yet, wasn't a pastor, but I did serve uh, uh, in the worship band at the church I was at, and I had lots of opportunities to lead at that church, and the, and the, the guy, uh, the worship pastor there, would give me a lot of freedom and flexibility, and the congregation was open to new things, and so some of these things I was seeing and resonating with at Church on the Move, I was able to really try and take for a test drive. And then I came on staff at Trinity in Yukon, which is where I'm at right now, and I was able to go full tilt with everything. And Trinity was already used to doing uh, uh, worship in a pretty contemporary style, so a lot of that matched up, and I went full-blown Church on the Move, and everything uh, I did looked like a copy of, of what they do from how we pick songs, the kinds of songs we did, you know, the, the, the mixture of up and down songs, how we did our lights. Everything about it was inspired by Church on the Move. Uh, I even had several of their guys uh, come down and, and help our staff. I had Daniel Cannell help out in, in, in planning our lights and how we were gonna you know, do that and kind of resetting our fixtures. I had uh, Andrew Stone come in and uh, work with our sound guy in terms of uh, helping us to get some, some good drum sounds and some effects. Those are two things that he's known for. I even had Jordan Weston, who's one of their worship leaders, come in and help our guys about body language and how do you tell a story with your hands and your body language, not just singing the song. And I felt bad how much I was copying Church on the Move. I would go out of my way to not copy them. For example, I remember uh, the song Made Alive, I first heard that, which is Citizens or Citizen Saints. And they did it, I was like, I really like this song. Uh, but I, I pulled up the record and said, okay, let me listen to the whole record and see if there is another song that, you know, maybe fits our congregation better. And I listened to the whole record and I was like, nope, Made Alive, that's the song we gotta do. I love how they'll take songs, especially Hillsong songs, and uh, their arrangements are just a little bit different. Uh, they might simplify it, or they might move a verse around, or they just do little things that I go, yep, that's 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 the, how to, the way to do it. Um, that's the arrangement we need to go with. And I would try to go out of my way to not do it like Church on the Move, but I wound up doing it pretty much like Church on the Move. But here's the irony. Church on the Move, at least around that time period, was a copy of Fellowship Church in Dallas. 
and they eventually became their own thing over time. They figured out the church on the move style. I remember talking to one of their guys and I was, I was explaining to them how I felt bad that everything I did seemed like a copy. And I was trying to go out of my way to not be a copy, but I was a copy of Church on the Move. And he said, man, don't worry about it. Because the first couple of years that I was around, everything I heard was, well, this is what Fellowship is doing, so that's what we're gonna do. So as a worship leader, I started out as a copy of Church on the Move, but eventually we kind of morphed into and drifted into our own style. That is Trinity Baptist Church of Yukon. And lately, I have noticed that Church on the Move has been kind of drifting this way in a certain direction. And meanwhile, we have been kind of drifting this way. And so I continue to watch their services, but there is uh, less and less of things I go, oh, we got to do that because they're going a certain direction and we are kind of finding our own. So I think the answer to the question is yes, it is completely okay to be a copy of someone else because at least in our case being a copy of church on the move is what allowed us to figure out who we were and to drift into that so as long as you are not just being a copy for the sake of being lazy but if it resonates with you do it and over time you'll realize what is you which is inspired by that original thing that you were copying I've been told that I'm a good copier. And I take that as a compliment, actually. If you give me a blank piece of paper, I don't do really well with it, which is weird for a creative. Most creatives, they want the blank piece of paper and then they, they, they do something. And I don't work that way, but if you uh, dump out a box of Legos on the floor, I can build you something. So I can see something and copy it, and then see something else and copy that and see how this take that, put that together, and, and, and over time it becomes its own thing. So don't feel bad if you feel like all you're doing is copying someone else. It's part of the creative process. Copy away and then continue to study what works and what doesn't and why certain people do certain things. And you'll notice, I think, over time that you become your own thing that someone else is probably gonna copy.